Take a look at what this countertop was before we fixed it. Now we're gonna show you two ways of how to do it, but also with minimal amount of tools. Hey everyone, I'm Cody with UpToCode. Now, my friend Alex, she actually does my filming right now, so hey Alex. This is her house, her brackets had actually fallen off of this eating bar. And obviously, you can't have that because if the kids lean on it, she's coming off snapping in no, in no time flat. So, show you how we fixed it. Now, there's two methods on how you do it, depending on how deep you want to go into it and also what kind of tools you have. So, let's show you what we did. Option number one for this bracket was we had to pull the brad nails out in advance because what, what they had done is they would built this bracket, separated brad nailed through the top and the back and then installed it. So now we don't want to remove those. We want to do it just simple as possible. So we just pull those brad nails out. Now sometimes they pull out clean and other times they snap off. So when they snap off, you just take a nail set. Now this is, I call this the poor man's nail set. It's just a number one Robertson bit. And you basically just square up the head with that, knock it in with the hammer, sets it in nice. So after that, everything's smooth. Then you gotta cut the silicone off. Just be careful not to gouge the finishing on there. And then once that was all complete, um, if you notice underneath here, there's screws for the way that they had attached this. So this is a two layer countertop and they just fasten from underneath. So luckily we were able to remove the top of that just by removing a few screws. There's no glue or anything, got rid of the countertop. To get the countertop back to level, we just stuck my level on there. I held my tape measure out. I just kind of pried up till I was pretty close to level, measured it. I was 40 and a half. So I just cut my sticks at 40 and 9 16 For this one, I took my daughter's play crutches that I made for her and I just spliced a piece on 49 16 wedged it in there. And then once it's level, I can adjust, you know, I, I can adjust the stick back and forth till it's bang on level. And then you'll also be able to tell by the way the brackets fits. The brackets just have to fit the way they are. So you can just adjust that leg a little bit and the brackets will fit tight. Then what we did is we could see the old brad nail holes. So it just took a pilot bit from underneath and just did pilot holes so I knew where to drill from the top down. Then I drilled a little bit bigger hole through the top. That way the screw could just kind of free fall through there. I also just took the bracket by itself and drilled a little bit deeper. So I, I knew that I was pre-drilled because these brackets are made out of particle board. So if you don't pre-drill, they'll just split on you. So after all the prep work, basically just slide the, the bracket in as best as possible, line it up with the old marks, and then just fasten the two screws in. We used two and a half inch, sucked it in tight. Now, we couldn't actually do anything else with the bracket because the dishwasher is on the other side. We'll show you that later. I'll give you an alternative way to, to fasten this. So essentially, we have two screws in the top but this is just floating. Now you could a tape it into place, but I'd accidentally bought some of the garbage masking tape. So it doesn't hold very well. But instead what I did is I just took my 21 gauge brad nailer and we just did a couple toenails through here. We set it, we set one extra toenail through the side just to be safe because the bracket wanted to pull to the right. So we did that. We had to uh, use the poor man's nail set to send it home. And then after that, we just siliconed it. So this method, the, the silicone is gonna be doing a fair bit of the work on this part of the bracket. Now, because we have two screws in the top, most of the strength is there, but if someone did sit on it, it could shear down. But after it's silicone, that's not gonna happen. This is strong enough to hold anything that you need to do. Now, if you wanna go over the top, you could have done the same method we did for the top. You would have had to pull the dishwasher out, or if it was just a cabinet, same thing. Get all the, uh, the stuff out of the drawers or pull your dishwasher out. We were, I was technically, we wanted to show you the easy way to do this. You could have drilled through, again, two pilot holes through the back, same thing what we did on the top, and then basically hold it up, 
pre-drill again, fasten it. Then you could add four screws total. So that's in a perfect world, but here you gotta make sure that because this is an eating bar, you don't wanna to try to screw anything in the top six inches and blow through the backsplash. For option number two, let's say you can't get this top countertop piece off. They've glued it or it's just, you can't take it off and you, or you just don't have very many tools or you wanna do it really quick and easy. Same thing, pull the brad nails out, any one that break off, nail set them home, clean the silicone off. And then for here, what we did is we just held the bracket up as best as possible. Now, hopefully you have a brad nailer because we just toe nailed the bottom in so it would hold it up. We toe nailed this in here and we didn't want to toe nail anything else. We didn't want to potentially have the brad nail ricochet and then make a mess. So then what we had to do is we just did a silicone line here and one on the other side. We let that set up let it cure, then after that, we can send that nail home with the nail set. It's not gonna kick that back out. So once the silicone was all set, nail set that home, and this bracket's done. And that's a wrap. There's two ways to fix this countertop. Pretty quick and easy, minimal amount of tools. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for tuning in. And how does, how quick does it actually focus? Pretty freaking quick. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Okay. Behind the scenes, we look super fast and professional, but behind everything, there's just garbage tools everywhere. This is the real life. Garbage everywhere. Now when you're at a customer's house, you just leave all these little metal pieces around, especially if they have small cats and dogs. Or children. Yes. Don't worry about cleaning up, people. You just get the job done. Cleaning is for women. I'm not even going there. I am not going there at all. Kitty, I miss my kitty. I gotta make sure I don't have, oh. I hate when I have debris or like this is rolled up. Like, oh, 